Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni with This Busy Mama, and today we're heading into my local Goodwill to see what we can find to sell online on my website, Etsy, or eBay. We haven't had a whole lot of luck here lately, so that's why you haven't seen a video in a little while. But hopefully today we will have some luck and find some good stuff. So let's head in and see what we can find. So I have been in to the Goodwill recently, quite a few times, but I haven't found a whole lot to, and not enough to do a video with. So I'm hoping today we'll find some stuff here. Fingers crossed, right? Here's something, somebody put that together, like a little plate and a lid. <laughs> Didn't make much sense to me. Look at the spikes on this thing. It was almost like a puffer fish, but um, I don't know if it should have had a top to it or, or what. I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> this was a nice beeswax candle stuck down in this little candle holder here, but pass on that. It was more contemporary and I'm not sure if just that candle would actually sell on Etsy. I left it behind. Shipping a candle when it's 95 degrees outside is probably not a good idea. This little crock ended up being FTD. This was a cool fish. I'm thinking when I looked it up, it only sold for around $8 like eight to 12 maybe, and they wanted 3.33 for it. So I left that behind. Always have to get down low and check that bottom shelf because you never know what's hiding back there. There was a little onion keeper or garlic keeper back there not seeing a lot this was a neat little tureen don't think it had a spoon it was it was a nice looking one, but it was very lightweight, so I don't think it was anything really spectacular. And this is a Yankee Candle shade. We've got some cute little puppies here on the shelf. But I have some listed that are not selling, so I'm not picking up any more dogs. This was a really cute bird, but it's chipped there on the tail, so I left that behind. You'll see I have a toaster in my cart. My toaster has recently been not toasting. <laughs> so this one was only 311. So I decided to go ahead and grab that. She is missing her fingers as I'm pointing out there. And we have an alligator head. Lots of people pick these up as souvenirs. And then they just end up in the thrift stores, which is a shame. This was a nice art glass bowl for two eleven, but I did leave that behind.
There seems to be a lot more stuff in the wood section lately, but it's a lot of things that people have crafted, it seems like. I didn't even notice that little knick-knack shelf. Not little. That huge knick-knack shelf up on the top of that shelf just a second ago there. Did not even see that. It was huge. But this candlestick is very cool. It is a brutalist style piece and it says made in Spain there on the sticker. It's wood and chain. So that's cool. This is a souvenir of the Bahamas. See, there's just a lot of crafty things here and some Lazy Susans. I thought this was neat too, but it was from Home Goods. There's a little mail organizer there. Those are neat too, but they're so long, I have to find a special box to be able to ship those. And here's that Lazy Susan, but this is kind of like chipboard instead of real wood. So just a little life update. I have started a new job and I am currently still working my old job part-time, plus trying to work my business pretty much full-time. So I have two full-time jobs and a part-time job now, and I'm not sure how things are going to go in the future here, um, in the near future, because things are a little rough for me right now. So if you don't see quite as many videos from me, that will be why. But I am going to try very hard to get videos out to you and to keep up with my listings and my business also because that is a good chunk of my side income. So I found these little stacking cups. They're marked Japan. They've got like this flower power flower on the side of them. So I did pick those up. This video is going to be a little bit different from the videos in the past. This one does not include the haul. We're going to do that in a separate video. So you'll have to stick around, make sure you're subscribed, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the haul video. As usual there's lots and lots of dishes but nothing that I really need nothing jumping out at me these glasses are cute but I'm kind of betting they're from the Dollar Tree and I'm focusing in on what tag is 50% off today and it is pink tags sorry that it got a little shaky there There is a whole lot of clear glass. These bowls were cute. They are from the Dollar Tree. Here 
handmade in Poland. It was super, super heavy and I would not want to ship that. There was one of those Corel um, baking dishes there on the shelf down below and I always pass those up. I think I might pick one of those up next time I see one just to see if it will sell. I, I know people have commented, you missed the dish, you missed the baking dish, because um, they're very common around here where I live, so I just didn't think that they would be that big of a seller, but I might pick one up just to see. The picture up there on the shelf that I just showed was a crystal picture, but I'm, I'm not picking that up today. This is a little bag of like knick-knacky things. Don't know why it was over here in this aisle. Someone must have just sat it down. Little canister. Another bag of knick-knacky things or were these? Yeah, I think these might have either been napkin rings or maybe a candle topper. I'm not really sure. They were not salt and pepper shakers, I know that. And there's a Pioneer Woman spoon rest. This was a nice crock. It was hand painted by Pat. <laughs> I did not pick that up though. There was a whole lot of um, the buffalo check pattern dishes up there. I don't know where those were from. This was pretty. It was a globe for a light and it had strawberries on it and I kind of wanted to pick that up but I just didn't know what the market would be for that. There's that pretty glass bowl. I think I have picked this up before here, but maybe it wasn't on camera, but I have looked at that bowl before. It's pretty big and heavy. Some trivets. This little clown caught my eye. It is a piggy bank, but uh, piggy banks just aren't selling for me right now. And you know, clowns are one of those things, but you either like them or you hate them. So even though he was cute, he does kind of have a little bit of a creepy appearance. I decided to leave him on the shelf. And I see these little cabbage looking salt and pepper shakers, but they were definitely modern with those plastic stoppers. So I'm checking out the toy aisle and I noticed this crocheted dress on this doll and I actually had a customer asking me if I had one of these dolls, so I went ahead and put this one in my cart, but wait till you see what's next. 
there were a lot of crocheted things here so somebody worked really hard to um, make these and I thought that they were really cool but this doll it was a composite um, a composite doll and its face wasn't in the best of shape I'm not sure what I'm doing with the camera right now <laughs> sorry about that Oh, it's trying to turn around. It says 1937 Horseman. So that doll is from 1937. And then I see this Mickey and Minnie, and I love them, but with copyright infringement, I, I don't think that I could sell those legally. So I did not pick them up. And there is another doll, but this... This composite doll was really cool, but the condition was just too far gone for me. So I left it. I was really sad to leave it, but I left it. And I'm looking to see if this ice bucket is anything special, and it really wasn't. So I left that too. These were Paula Dean pans, but they were in really bad shape. They had a lot of scratches inside, so I didn't bother with those. I always like to check out the bags of different stuff here because uh, you never know what's going to be in one of those bags. It could be something really good. And I'm sorry for the background noise. I am editing this video in my car on my lunch break, and sometimes... Uh, the traffic going by is a little loud and my air conditioner is running because it's 86 degrees outside so I apologize for that I think this thing is like a old oil pan like for uh, deep frying it has a basket in there so I'm assuming that that's what it is for it's like a heavy aluminum so if you know what that is let me know I thought that these little pie pans were cute they're definitely modern though but they were still very cute here we have another bag of those Good is you never know what you're gonna find in the bag, so I always search that. It's a pretty little teapot. Poppin' fresh pies. I thought about looking those up, but I didn't. <laughs> and here I am checking out this ice bucket. And this one was very cheaply made. It was all plastic. So we left that one. There's another aluminum pan. It is wherever. It looks like it's been outside for a while. This, I, I didn't look this up, I probably should have, but the, it had a lot of tarnish on the outside of it, so I didn't mess with it. This was a neat punched metal sign on a piece of wood. It would have taken a long box to ship that, so I left it behind. Mm. 
this little pineapple candle snuffer. I sat this on the shelf so I could look at something else, thinking I'm gonna go ahead and get that and put that in my cart. And I left the store and did not put that back in my cart. And I, I realized it later that night and I went back the next day and it was gone, unfortunately. So I missed out on the candle snuffer. There is a little chicken feeder on the shelf there, but that was like from Home Goods or something. I see this nice uh, candelabra up on the shelf, but when I turned it over, the top almost fell on the floor. It looks like it was supposed to screw in there, but it was very worn out and unfortunately, I had to leave it behind. This was pewter, but, and then I found this little turtle. I don't know if it was a trivet or what it was, but it was cute. And there is a nice spun aluminum canister that says cookies down the side. Here is a bag of antique or vintage drawer pulls. These are more of the common ones, so I did leave those behind. There's a banana hook up there for hanging your bananas on. There's some um, wall planters down there. That big white shelf on the bottom, that is from Home Goods also. I did check that out. And here's a metal Lazy Susan. I thought that was neat. I liked this little measuring cup but I didn't want to pay $3.33 for it, so that stayed behind. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and stick around for the haul video and see what we picked up today. If you're not subscribed yet, please do that so that you'll be notified when I upload the video. Thanks, bye.